Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. It's my honor to be to speak here, and I'm very glad to share my topic with you. My name is John Li Bin, studying in Beijing Normal University. Uh, as is shown in, in the slide, then today I'd like to talk about a uh, longitudinal study on stability and transition among uh, Boolean rulers, the influence of academic achievement, appearance, and SES. My pre presentation will will include uh, four parts: the background, methods, results, and the conclusion. Uh, school bullying refers to repeated uh, physical and physiological uh, harm or uh, 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 moral attack uh, on peers by one or more individuals. Uh, school bullying is a widespread uh, all over the world, according to the data rele released by. Uh, United Nations Educational uh, uh, Scientific and Cultural Organization. Thirty-two uh, percent of the students in the world have been bullied by their peers at least once in the past month. Uh, based on, on the peace date of Beijing, Shanghai, Jiangsu, Zhejiang uh, in 2018, uh, years in China, about forty-eight uh, percent of Chinese students have exp experienced school bullying, and about seventeen point seven percent of students have frequent frequently suffered from uh, school bullying in the past years. Uh, bullying is a risk factor for a range of physical and mental health pro. A problem including uh, suicide and mental health disorders. Previous studies have found that uh, school uh, bullying mainly involves four uh, bullying rulers. That's all bullying victim, uh, 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 victims, uh, uh, bystanders, uh, uh, bully, uh, bullying victims. Compared with many studies on uh, bullying rulers, there are uh, a few studies on its development, uh, st stability, ability, and transition. Only several studies pay attention to the st uh, stability and the transition between different uh, uh, bullying rulers. They found that perpetrators and victims are, uh, are, st are st stable and maintain the identity of bullying rulers for a long time. Time. Overall, bullying victims are more likely to turn to you know, bullying and the victims. However, pres at present, there is a, a lack of research on the predictor, uh, predictive factors of the stability and the tra transformation of bullying rulers. A relation uh, model shows that individual character characteristics such as individual biological characters such as gender um, appearance, uh, development uh, characters such as uh, intelligence, academic achievements, uh, and uh, personality uh, characters can affect the interact uh, mode and uh, uh, mutual relationship between individuals and uh, peers. Research studies found that Gender different uh, exists among different uh, bullying rulers. High academic uh, performance is a protective factor of bullying. Uh, studies have found that appearance disadvantage is a risk factor for bullying. Low family economic study uh, 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 may be a risk factor for uh, bullying and uh, victims. So uh, this this study explores the. Uh, trajectories of a stabi a stability and uh, a transition in bullying rulers through a, longitud a longitudinal uh, pers perspective in China, uh, in Chinese adolescence, and to ex uh, ex examine the influence for academic achievement, uh, appearance, and the social economic uh, status on bullying rulers. Uh, Participants were rec recruited from seven public general middle schools. 
four waves of data were collected at six months in interval, uh, starting at the end of the first uh, semester in gender seven, the uh, first year of middle school, due to the due to participants uh, dropping out or moving to other uh, other school, a total of uh, two thousand five hundred and fourteen. Uh, Fourteen uh, three middle students were included in the final analysis. For the data analysis, we use uh, SPSS and uh, M plus for describ descriptive analysis and uh, Latin class analysis, and use the SAS for Latin translation analysis. For the major uh, part, this study used the peer nomination. For the bullying victim test, and the four following four questions were used to measure bullying in the class. And uh, the following four questions were used to measure uh, victims in class. Uh, we used the two items uh, to uh, to test the appearance. The students find. Uh, exam score at T1 uh, are adopted as students' academic achievement. Family uh, social economic uh, status was uh, calculated by a program for international student uh, assessment using the uh, uh, three informants uh, aspect parents' education level, parents' uh, Accomplishment and uh, annual family income. Uh, the SES was uh, calculated using uh, for uh, the following formulation. Uh, uh, table one present, uh, presents the model fitting index and uh, uh, entropy value of the Latin class uh, analysis model of the Boolean rulers in different times. A point from uh, uh, T1 to T4. Uh, Combined with the exciting for classification zero of uh, uh, Boolean uh, rulers and considering the simplicity and uh, accuracy of the model, the four category model is finally selected in this study. Table 2 uh, shows the contradiction uh, pro. Ability of the uh, eight question items at different time points. Based on it, four categories of Boolean rulers were uh, were named uh, Boolean victims, uh, victims, uh, Boolean, and uninvolved. Uh, the 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 light chart provides a clear visualization of the different categories. Uh, figure two shows the prevalence of the Boolean rulers in the uh, in the whole sample and uh, and the boys and the girls at different time points. On the whole, the prevalence of an uh, involved group is the uh, largest, account for about uh, fourteen seven percent of the whole sample. The average prevalence of an uh, involved group account for uh of fourteen seven. A point one one percent in the boys group. I, I indicate that more than half of the boys uh, engaged in bullying behaviors. Uh, in the girls group, the involved group account for uh, seventeen one point uh, percent, highly than the mean um, percentage of uninvolved group in the whole sample. Uh, figure three presented the transition of different uh, Boolean uh, rulers at different time points. The uninvolved group is the most stable among the four groups, and the, and the Boolean victims group is the most unstable group. Uh, table three shows the Latin transition of uh, Boolean rulers in, in boys and girls. To explore the effect of uh, uh, academic achievement, appearance, and uh, 
uh, family social economic status on different Boolean rulers. The uninvolved group as a reference group, uh, a multiple log logistic regression analysis was conducted. Uh, table 4 shows the O's, O's rates. Uh, to sum up, high academic achievements, achievement and good appearance can uh, pro prevent the children uh, from engaging the bullying. The goals with high SES has more become the uh, perpetrators. The result shows uh, appearance has a great effect on the Boolean rulers. In order to explore the influence factors of the transition of, of Boolean rulers, uh, this study focused on the effect of appearance on Boolean rulers transition. The results are shown in Table 5. Uh, the better appearance, the low uh, pro probability of uh, becoming from the uninvolved to victims, the, the higher probability of uh, of becoming from uh, become the involved from the victim, and become the uh, bully victim from uh, perp uh, perpetrator from perpetrator for boys. Uh, the bad appearance, the low, the lower uh, probability of uh, become a victim from uh, uh, perpetrators, uh, the the higher prob probability of become a victim from the uh, bullying uh, victims. Okay, that's a, a conclusion. That's all. Thank you for your listening. Hi, everybody. My name is Ana Bravo. I am a PhD student in University of Cordoba and a member of the LICOVID research team. I will present a study titled Victimization Trajectory in Adolescent social position evolution through time, which was developed in collaboration with Professor Eva Romera and Rosario Ortega. The research was supported by the government of Spain and the presentation followed the traditional research structure. 36% of study are bullied by their peers and the majority of them uh, are trapped in the role. Uh, however, the intensity and duration of the aggression differ between victims, which may influence their, diff their social adjustment over time. Previous study uh, differ between three to four different victimization trajectories with a higher prevalence in the role less involved in victimization and the identification of a chronic victimization group. This study was focused on describing predictors and consequences of a chronic victimization trajectory, but most of them have measured a social adjustment at a single point in time. Therefore, these studies cannot provide an answer as to how the social position associated with different victimization trajectories change over time. Only a few studies describe and compare the variability in social position, concretely related with perceived popularity, social preference, and friendship. Uh, the result highlight a uh, general stability in social position, but a difference in social position among groups. Uh, despite the result, this study presented some limitations. First, uh, one of them combined bullying and victimization level and found an unique uh, victimization group. And the, the other study found uh, four victimization trajectory. Two of them uh, differ to the previous study, being necessary more study to uh, improve our knowledge about this differential or maybe how the student is distribution in this kind of behaviors. And none of them differences between positive and negative popularity, although this distinction was performed in one of them between like it and dislike it levels. 
This distinction is important because um, although the majority of previous study underlined that victims show a low stable per CV popularity level over time, or, uh, the few studies uh, that develop uh, separately popularity and unpopularity found a positive association between victimization and unpopular unpopularity, but not only one of them found a negative association with popularity. So maybe as suggests a recent study, popularity and unpopularity could not be this, the opposite poles uh, of the same continuum, maybe it's not a linear relation between them. Therefore, it is necessary to explore if the stability found in the perceived popularity levels is maintained when popularity and unpopularity levels are separately studied. In the same vein, we could expect that the stability found in social preference level could not maintain when uh, like it and dislike it level are separately studied, as well as the bullying trajectories show a uh, change in their uh, dislike it level, but not for like it level. So maybe this difference is also expected for victimization, uh, uh, victimization trajectories. To answer this question, the present study aims to describe victimization trajectory and to compare how social position develop in age victimization trajectory. Based on previous literature, four uh, hypotheses was formulated. The first, we expect uh, for victimization trajectory, and the chronic victimization trajectory will show the worst social position levels related with the changes in inside the trajectory we expect that victimization trajectory shows significant change in unpopular at dislike levels and we expect that different that these differences was more um, um, highlight for decreasing and increasing victimization the study included 1238 students between 90 to 16 years, victimization and social position were measured by peer nomination for eight variable, the number of receiving nomination were summarized and the C score was calculated within the classroom. A school and family consent were provided, data was co were collected during regular lesson and student nominated using the class number. Two different uh, data nights were developed in order to archive a student objective and um, different Latin class model were fitting to estimate the optimal one follow different uh, statistical recommendation and a general linear model was developed for age dependent variable uh, compared with the different trajectory as within move along the time and um, between groups. The four class model uh, appeared to be the optimal solution. The student distribution was similar for the three trajectory involved in bullying. Um, this is important to highlight that uh, the wave one and three coincide with the beginning of the new school year. Maybe this can explain the change in that point. General linear model uh, show no significant interaction uh, between victimization trajectory and time in popularity, but this is was uh, significant uh, for unpopularity. The differences between uh, the different victimization trajectory were significant for both popularity and unpopularity levels. The post hoc check uh, show significant differences only between decreasing and no victimization uh, in popularity levels and the postdoc text uh, show significant differences between all victimization trajectory less between decreasing and chronic victimization trajectory. Uh, the similar result for uh, the relation between victimization trajectory and time uh, in the liking level, which was not significant, but was significant for disliking levels. And the differences observed between trajectory were similar in these cases for like it and dislike it, be the post 
hot test showed significant differences among all victimization trajectory less between decreasing and chronic uh, victimization trajectory. Related with friendships, no significant interaction was observed between victimization trajectory and time, uh, but uh, we found differences between uh, victimization trajectory in the same direction that previously post hoc tests uh, show significant differences among all victimization trajectory except between decreasing and uh, chronic victimization. According to our result, a study hypothesis were confirmed. Participant distribution was similar than previous study, although decreasing trajectory distribution differed to previous one being more similar to increased or chronic victimization than no victimization trajectory. Chronic victimization was similar to decreased victimization trajectory for unpopularity, like it, dislike it, and friendship. And uh, for popularity, only differences were found between decreasing and uh, no victimization trajectory. Related with the four uh, hypotheses, it is interesting to highlight that decreasing trajectory show an improvement in their social position, but increasing trajectory show a relatively stable, stable uh, social position, being necessary to explore other variables that uh, could explain uh, why this study increased the victimization level over time. Together, our funding highlight that changes in classroom group uh, members could influence victimization trajectory and student social position. This is in line with previous study and suggest that future research should explore and include uh, classroom characteristics such as signs uh, or composition change and the hierarchy structure of the classroom in order to improve our knowledge about the victimization changes and the social position structure. Moreover, our study highlights the importance of differencing between positive and negative social position when changes and evolution of victimization trajectory are studied. We highlight that the importance of negative social position in these uh, changes in victimization trajectory and the, the influence of popularity levels in the differences between victimization trajectory. However, more studies are necessary that uh, difference and compare positive and negative social position and the interaction with bullying dyna dynamic. In conclusion, social position should be part of anti-bullying intervention, promoting the social position of excluded and isolated students, especially at the beginning of the year school, and improving the positive social dynamic among students in order to um, improve the cohesion and the interaction between them. Uh, our study has important stress such as uh, a large example size, peer report was the way to measure a uh, victimization and social position, but also have important limitation because victimization trajectory were established using uh, the Latin class analysis, which uh, don't take uh, account the growth over time and a student difference in the level at the bus in line and we control this heterogeneity but a uh, future student future research uh, maybe have to into account this difference and compare the younger and older student in order to maybe know the differences between a um, different moment of develop this is the bibliography of this pre uh, study Thank you for your time. I included my email address and I am at your disposal for any question you may have. Thank you. I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to speak to you today. Today's talk is about new scientific approach to bullying using behavior tests in experimental room and resting stage function MRI. Today's talk about our work which we did from my graduate school days in Osaka University to nowadays. 
here's the outline of my presentation. First, introduction of our brain research by new behavior task. Second, using this new behavior task, we rebel why people bring together. And third, we report neural network mechanisms for target change behavior in bullying. As you know, bullying is a serious problem in our society, and it is also a serious problem in Japan. Every year, the news of suicide due to bullying makes the Japanese society go crazy. But previous research on bullying is mostly based on questionnaire, so we couldn't know what really happened. What is the behavior feature in bullying? And needless to say, the neural basis in bullying is largely unknown. So, to address this problem, we invented the new catchable computer game task which can make bullying situation in the laboratory. In addition to this task, we conducted the resting state MRI experiment to rebel behavior and neural mechanisms in bullying. In our new catchable test, players can throw two different balls, normal or strong ball. Strong balls are associated with unpleasant sounds like bash and give harmful damage to other players. So strong ball is aggressive ball. This figure shows screenshot of our test. Left P2 is participant, top and bottom P3 and P1 are bully. Right P4 is victim. Actually, bully and victim are computer program players. Data session of this test, bully is said to throw strong balls to P4 repeatedly. And we test whether participant conform to throw strong balls to P4 or not. This movie is our new behavior test. Four participants came in the same experiment room and they play catch ball on its computer screen. They instructed play catch ball in each other, but in actuality they played same computer program players. On this screen, participant is green one, P2. In this session, top three is set to throw strong ball to P4, and P1 also throw strong ball to P4, and one more strong ball to P4, and this participant also throw strong ball. He joined the police side. Using our task, we investigate why people believe together. Previous research reports some reasons why people believe. The most emphasized is that bully have low empathy. Bullying itself may act as a lever to the bully. Bullies were high anxiety and fear. However, because these studies were based on questionnaire in classroom and did not involve behavior tests or neural investigation. The relative importance of the above factors remain unknown. Including these factors, we hypothesize five factors in bullying reason, such as desire to bully, the act of aggression, conform to bully, boost of threat effect, and session effect. To quantification these factors, we designed a behavior session as shown next slide. This video shows our text overview. This experiment consists of 8 sessions. In each session, participants play catch ball, write other people, and select whether to send a message or not. In 4 session, P1 throws strong ball to P4 repeatedly. Next few session, P1 and P3 throw strong ball P4 repeatedly. 6th and 7th session, participants receive boost or threat message from P3 or P4 such as let's throw more strong ball to P4, and throw strong ball P4 or I'll throw to you. We conducted this behavior test to 43 participants. This figure shows means of ball throws in all participants. The horizontal axis represents the session. The vertical axis represents the average number of strong balls. And the color of the bar corresponding to the color of each player. The yellow bar 
indicate the number of thrombos to the yellow player who is victim. After session 3, the number of thrombos to P4 victim significantly increased. This means participants confirmed to bully together with other players. To survey this bullying behavior in more detail, we conducted mathematical model-based analysis. This bar graph shows means of estimate by parameters in each participant, such as desire to bully, reactive revenge, conform to blink, threat, and session effect. Only conform to blink had a significantly positive effect in bullying behavior. This means conform to bullying is important in bullying behavior. Previous research says Empathy is most emphasized in bullying, so we conducted the Interpersonal Reactivity Index IRI, which is measure of empathy commonly used in psychology. But our behavior parameter, conformity to bullying, had no correlation with empathic scales. On the other hand, conformity to bullying had a significant correlation with personal distress which is related to anxiety or fear. Further, in resting state MRI experiment, conformity parameters correlate connectivity links amygdala and right TPJ. Especially, amygdala involved in anxiety and fear. This result highlights the anxiety-based conformity and amygdala networks on bullying together behavior. Next, we want to talk about target changing behavior in bullying. Recently, social network studies reported bullies tend to switch their victims and define strategies to access effective target. This target changing behavior can be viewed from an evolutionary perspective. For example, resource control theory using prosocial and coercive strategies. However, behavioral and neural basis for target changing behavior in bullying are largely undiscovered. In our experiment, we observed that in 5 to 6 sessions, the number of thrombo to P3 is significantly increased, and in session 6 to session 7, the number of thrombo to P1 is significantly increased. In other words, we may observe at first confirm to believe but later changing the target of bullying. To examine this target changing behavior, we extended the mathematical model utility function, adding the target changing term to the utility function as shown below. This bar graph shows means of estimated six parameters in each participant. We found only conform to bullying and target changing parameters were significantly positive. Did this result demonstrate that conformity and target changing are main driving force in bullying behavior? Figure B exemplifies behavior of a typical target changer participant who shows high target changing parameters. At first, conform to bully throwing P4 victim, but later changing the target throwing thrombo to P3 and P1. To know target changes feature in more detail, we checked personality traits by Big 5 inventory questionnaire. In Big 5 index, we found that target changing parameters had significant correlation with extroversion. This means that in their school life, parents and teachers tend to have good impressions to the students who have the high expressions. However, our study implied those good guys will be the leader in bullying station and lead to the target changing behavior. This pie graph shows the percentage of bullying experience for positive effect of target change and uh, conform. In target change positive participant, the percentage of bully only 
was 45. This implied that the target changer may have been the leader of bling in the past, leading the bling while changing the target. Finally, we visualize the significant connectivity links in resting fMRI correlate with the target changing parameter. The insurer and DSCC is pivotal to target changing behavior. Insurer involved in disgust and the DSCC involved foraging adaptive task switching behavior and also extraversion. This suggests underpinning neural mechanisms of target changing in bullying behavior. This is summary of my talk and reference. Thank you for your attention.